Good morning, Madam. My name is Cheris. I'm a fifth year medical student. Today, I'm conducting a delivery. I'd like to explain to you that during the process of delivery, there might be a need for episiotomy. Episiotomy is making a cut at the perineum to enlarge the outlet of the vagina and to allow more space for maneuver, which will shorten the process of delivery and also prevent the degree tear. The risk of this procedure includes bleeding, infection, and injury to the surrounding structures such as urinary bladder and anus sphincter. However, the risk of infection will be minimized with a septic technique and I will perform the cut with extra caution. May I have your permission to perform this procedure, Madam? Thank you, Madam. During the second stage of labor, I would like to ensure that the patient is in dorsal recumbent position and drape the patient before the procedure. Prior to episiotomy, I will inject local anesthesia, 1% lignocaine, 10 to 15 ml at the perineal skin. Upon crowning, I would like to perform episiotomy. Madam, I will be performing episiotomy. I will insert my left, middle and index fingers into the vagina posteriorly to protect the fetal head and lift the perineal away from the fetal head. After that, I would like to use a sterile episiotomy scissors to make an incision at the posterior medial lateral part which is 45 degree away from the anus. I will continue the delivery by encouraging the patient to bear down. Madam, push, madam. Very good, push. After the delivery of baby and placenta, I would like to perform episiotomy repair. Madam, I will be repairing the episiotomy cut for you. Before that, I would like to ensure that there's good lighting. I will inspect the perineum for any extended tear, laceration, cuts, and identify the apex. Prior to repairing, I would also like to inject local anesthesia into the perineal skin, perineal muscle, and vaginal mucosa. I would like to start my repair one centimeter above the apex to the vagina opening. These are the instruments needed for episiotomy. Absorbable sutures, forceps, needle holder, episiotomy scissors, syringe and needle with 1% of needle cane. Now I will be demonstrating on how to do a simple interrupted suture technique. This suture is usually done over the perineal muscles and also the skin. The suture has the advantage of allowing adjustment of tension and the rest of the suture will be affected even if one not fails. However, this technique requires more material and time. I'll be demonstrating on how to do a continuous suture technique. Continuous suture is usually done for skin incision and vagina mucosa. It has the advantage of providing rapid closure with even distribution of tension, more watertight closure, minimizing the need for multiple knots with only two knots with associated tags. However, if it is cut at one point, suture slackens along the whole length of wound, which will then gate open. There is also less control over the tension. After repair of episiotomy, I will do another vagina examination to remove the remaining blood clots and also check for any foreign bodies. I will also do a digital rectal examination to feel for any sutures in the anal mucosa. After everything is done, clean the area and cover the patient up. Madam, I've finished the repair of episiotomy for you. I've assessed and everything is good. Now I'll cover you up. Thank you, Madam. Ensure that proper documentation is done. <laughs>